everyone. Today we're going to be working with shapes, live shapes, rounded corners, the shaper tool, um, drawing modes, and image trace, which is really cool. So what I need you to do is to go ahead and go to open up the Adobe Illustrator 2018 version, the one on the right hand side. And you're going to also open up two files, one called L3 for Lesson 3 End and one called Map Edges. To get there, go to your File Explorer. You're going to go to the V Drive. ME2 folder and you're looking for either graphic design or principles of art. Either way you're going to go to the illustration lessons, go to lesson three, and then you're, you are going to need this island photo but not right now. So just go ahead and open up the one that says LE uh, or L3 end and map edges. All right. Once you have these open, we want to go ahead and create a new document. Um, so we're going to go to file and we're going to go to new. And um, where it says untitled, let's go ahead and change this to, call, to say postcard. Okay. And we want to change to from inches. We want our width to be six inches. And we want our height to be 4.25 inches. Okay, we want this to go ahead and be uh, landscape, which we're on. So we want two artboards. We're just gonna click the arrow here to create two artboards and hit create. Okay, so you now have yours. Let's go ahead and make sure that it's correctly saved first of all. So go to file, save as, and you could call this postcard. Um, you could call it postcard lesson three. Um, put your name on it if you want to. You do wanna save it inside ME2 under your class and under student folders, find yours. Um, I don't have one in here, so I'm just going to save mine. I think I have one in the other one. And save it there. Okay, just hit OK when this pops up and you now have it saved. So any work that you do from this point on is going to be saved correctly. Uh, let's go ahead and adjust this to be window, go to window, workspace. Whenever you start, you just want to reset your essentials. Go to workspace, essentials is clicked. You're going to go to um, reset essentials. That sets everything to look the same. So as you follow along with me, your, your item should look exactly the same as mine. All right, we're going to do a little adjustment. We want to adjust the bleed section. The bleed is what comes like off as you print. It means like you can print up into the edge if you want to on documents. So we're going to go over in um, the document setup under properties. So it should be properties. If you don't see this, it would be under window and then you would go down to where properties is and, and select it and it would come up, but it should be up already. So we're gonna go to properties and we're gonna go to document setup. All right, so we want um, the bleed right here on the top to be 0 0.125. So I'm just gonna click up one and then it's gonna do that and then I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. All right, now we have this red line that appears all the way around and we're ready to get started. All right, so let's just go ahead and just click File, Save. Just a good idea to save often and quickly um, to make sure that you, you have everything placed where you need it. Okay, we're gonna work with the second artboard, so choose two and then we wanna do, um, it already fit it, but if it didn't, you could do fit artboard in window and it centers it in. All right, we're gonna start with drawing a rectangle. So you wanna select the rectangular tool and what we wanna do is drag the rectangle until it's approximately half an inch wide by two inches uh, tall. And you can see that it gives us this measurement. So um, the width, I'm gonna go, and you just wanna get as close as you can. I'm there, it changes as you move, so it can be a little tricky. I'm gonna go there and half an inch wide. Get as close as you can. Now that you have that, great. Um, and go to your selection tool. Click in the middle and when you see that your selection tool changes to this symbol right here, watch as that changes, that allows you to drag it. We're gonna just drag this down to the bottom section of the artboard. And this is called your center point widget. And what that means is it just allows you to drag the entire shape around um, by the center. 
What I want you guys to do now is to adjust the size of this, and we're gonna adjust the sides of it to a specific measurement. Um, if you hold down the Alt key, without holding down the Alt key, it drags one side, but if you hold down the Alt key and you drag it, it adjusts both sides from the left and the right equally, which is what I want you to do. So we're gonna go ahead and adjust this till we see a 0.3 inches for the width. As close as you can, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, great. Now that you have that, we're gonna go ahead and adjust the angle of this. So we wanna get it to about a 45 degree angle. Um, as we drag, we're gonna hit the shift key, and what that does is keep it um, at a particular angle for us, and you can see it tells you what angle you're at in the box. And we want a 45 degree, just like that. So once you reach that, go ahead and release your mouse and you've then got it at a 45 degree angle. Okay, next thing that we're gonna do is to look at rounding the edges or rounding the corners. So just to make sure that we can see this properly, let's go ahead and zoom in. Uh, you can use the zoom tool with a magnifying glass. You can go to edit and you can go to zoom, or you can just hit control and plus next to your um, backspace key. Let's zoom in a couple times. If you go ahead and hit the space bar, it turns into the hand tool, which is right here, which allows you to move your document around. Okay, we need to go back to selecting our rectangle. And so now that it's selected with the selection tool, what I want you guys to do is to look at the widgets in the corners. These little circles are called widgets, and we need to drag them to make it rounded in all the corners. Um, and we want to go ahead and get it to about like 0.14 of an inch. So let's do this. Go ahead and click, and you'll notice that it does all of the corners at the same time. That's because we're on the direct select, I mean, we're on the selection tool. If we were on the direct selection tool, you could specifically say, I want one corner versus the other. Okay, I wanna do to 0.14. That's good. And I'm gonna go ahead and release it like that. So again, if I was to switch to the direct selection, I could pick the corner that I want it to be rounded. But if you're in the selection tool and you use it, it rounds all of them at the same time. All right, what we're creating right now is this little X. Let me go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see that. We are right now creating um, the X marks the spot on the map. So I'm gonna go back to here and I'm gonna adjust it a little bit further. All right, so we have the properties panel up right now which allows us to transform different shapes. And we want to um, transform so that one side of ours is straight and the other side of ours is round. So we want to be in the properties uh, panel and under the transform section. We need the more options, so click right there. And we want to make sure that this constrain width and height proportions is linked, and it is. And what we're going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and uh, change the value, and it should change all of them at the same time. So right in here, we want this value to be, um, sorry, 0.125 and so as I click it down on the down arrow it also does it here and so it's adjusted it on here and they're all at the same time. Um, we want to go to the direct select tool which is right here and don't forget the shortcut for that is A on your keyboard so as you learn it if you just hit A it'll go ahead and take you to that um, and we want to select the widget that is right here and we're gonna adjust this side. All right, we're gonna double click this corner widget just like this, and it's gonna bring up um, the option for us to be able to, hang on one second guys, sorry, I wasn't getting that right. I'm on my selection tool, you need to be on the direct selection tool. Double click this corner widget, and we want it to be zero. So go ahead and hit zero and okay, and you'll notice that it made it straight on that edge, which is perfect, that's what we want it to be. And now we're gonna adjust the bottom one. So again, make sure you're on direct select and not select. If you're on select, it won't allow you to do it. If you're on direct select, it allows you to do it. All right, so we're gonna go to this bottom right-hand corner, and I'm gonna show you another way. So the first way is we double-clicked it using the direct select tool. In this case, we're just gonna drag it. So just selecting this one, we're gonna drag um, out till we see zero. 
just like that. And once you get that, you can let go. So your options are to drag it so you see the measurement you want or the way it looks, or to double click it to see the measurement that you want or the way that it looks. All right, this is perfect. This is the color that we want it to be. We need to go ahead and fill it to be the color we want. So let's use the selection tool, select our entire shape, and we're gonna go over to fill. So right here, we're gonna double click on the fill and it's gonna bring it up and we want to go um, to color swatches. And we wanna do the CMYK red. All right, perfect. And now that you have that, um, we're gonna click the stroke button and right here. And we wanna remove the stroke. So we're gonna click the none and get rid of that. Great, that's exactly the way we want it to look. Good job, guys. Okay, now we need to copy this and rotate it so that it looks the way we want it to look. So we're gonna go to um, make sure it's selected, which it is, go to edit, copy, and then we're gonna do edit, um, paste in front. And so now we have, it's there, it's just hidden a little bit. Um, we're gonna move the pointer off of the corner of the shape, and then we're just going to rotate it. You'll notice that if you hover like this, it'll give you a rotation. And we're just gonna rotate it corner right here, and if you see that symbol appear where it gives you that diagonal, um, that kind of curved looking arrow, we're going to go ahead and rotate it. Hit the shift key and then we're going to rotate it till we get to about 315 degrees and then you're going to let go and you'll have an X. We want to change the color of this X so let's go ahead and double click on the fill and let's make it go to color swatches and let's make it a darker red and then click OK. All right, so we now have our X, which if you're following along in the book, I actually did this backwards. The lighter color should be on top with the darker on red. It really doesn't matter. We've got it looking the way it needs to look as far as the map goes, so it's fine. So if you look over here, it's lighter on top, darker on bottom, but it's fine. We're okay. All right, just to make sure that we don't lose anything, let's go to File and hit Save. All right, we also want to group these two together. So using the selection tool, let's just click and drag over top all of them. And we can go to object group. The shortcut is control G. And now they move together. Okay, go ahead and save that again one more time just to make sure that we have that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do the rounded rectangle tool which is uh, nested underneath here. So you can either click and hold or you can right click and it'll do it as well. So we're gonna choose rounded rectangular tool. I'm gonna hold down the space bar so I can grab my document and move it over a little bit and we're gonna draw to the right of the X that we made for the map. All right, so in this case, I want you to hold down, um, as you click and drag, don't release the mouse key. So you're gonna hold down the mouse as you click and drag and don't release it until I tell you to do it. All right, so we're gonna click and drag and we want it to be a width of 0.2 inches and we want it to be a height of one and a half inches. So we're going, going, going until we get one and a half on the height. It's hard, it's a little tricky to do it. And then we want 0.2. Oh, I had it and I just lost it. There we go, just like that. Now I still haven't released my mouse key yet. What I wanna show you is that as you hit the up arrow, or as you hit um, the down arrow several times, uh, you can see that the corners can become more or less rounded. And play with that for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and keep mine rounded and then just release. Perfect. It fills it with the last color that you chose and for right now, that's fine. Um, we're gonna go to the properties panel. So I'm gonna actually get out of, I'm just gonna X out of the color because I don't want that right now. And we're gonna go to the properties panel and we're gonna um, make sure that the width and height proportion is constrained and we're gonna select specific values that we want it to look like. So we're gonna go under to transform and this is the width and height constraint. So it is, this is what it looks like if it's linked together um, and we want it to be like that. Um, if it's linked together, everything changes at the same time. If it's not linked, you can individually change certain parts of it. So what we're gonna do is go over to the width and change it to 0 0.1. And we can just highlight it, click and highlight, and go 0 0.1. And then for the height, we're gonna change it to one. And as we work that, it changes it on here for us. 
All right, now that we've done this, we're going to go to the Transform panel, and we're going to click the More section down here. And we want to change part of the angling on the rectangle, but not the bottom half of it. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to go um, and make sure that this is not linked right here. So we're going to unclick it, and we want to change this top and this top to, um, first of all, we're going to change it to say chomfer on both of them. And then we're going to change it to zero. We want the zero to be on the bottom ones, so we're going to leave it uh, as it is. It's a corner type curve and that's fine, but we're going to switch this down to zero. And we're going to switch this down to zero. And now we have a straight edge on the bottom and it's got this pointed angle top. And we want to change the color of this by double clicking and we're going to choose a brown. So you could go, you could either go to swatches and pick a brown. Um, this one looks good. Or you could have chosen the color slides. All right, that's it for this lesson. This is the first part of it. I try to keep these short for you guys. So go to File and Save. And we now have, I'll show you what we have done. Um, we have the X marks the spot. And we have the part that's going to hold the sail on our boat completed. All right. So that's it for this lesson. Next lesson, we're going to create the boat itself. We're going to do these bones and then we're going to do the diamond shapes and we're going to add them onto the map. We're going to do an image trace as well. All right. Let me know what questions you have and I'm here to help.